how much sort of zombie lore did you look up on when you got the part? Honestly, it's opening Pandora's box. Like, I started to wrap my head around... It's like time travel movies, you know? You start to wrap your head around one element of it and then it opens another whole aspect of the mythology. Um, I didn't know a lot about it beforehand. I had seen some zombie movies and I enjoyed the genre, but um, I was by no means an avid fan. So, Diane Rogier O'Reilly has been my, my counsel, really. She knows everything about zombies and down to how our contact lenses are designed and it references this movie and, you know, she's incredibly well-versed in zombies and so I go to her. <laughs> and what are you, uh, when you eat grains, what are, what do they taste like? Oh, man, what they are, are they? horrible. They are horrible. I think I would at this point rather eat a brain than eat this fondant <laughs> icing sugar soy protein combo that we have. It's like a disaster sweet and sour. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> How would you describe, so in the show, uh, you eat the brains of these deceased person and get their memories, sort of? What would you describe as going on there for the character? Liv explains it as, it feels like being on somebody else's acid trip. It's like these pieces that, that you feel of these memories that this person had. You don't get whole experiences, you get like glimpses, uh, which works really well for the unraveling of the mystery and the procedural element. Um, but she realizes that when she eats them, these glimpses that she see often they're not uh, incidental things that she's seeing, they're things that are very significant so uh, probably to do with who killed that person or um, something in their life, in their build up um, so, so yeah she she finds it rewarding in the long run because she's able to get a sense of purpose when she identifies the killer. Does she start purposely um, feeding on certain people at the morgue in, you know, based on how they die or is it just random uh, she's just eating the victim that comes in each week. I mean, you can't be too picky when you're sneaking a brain out of a dead person. Like, you take what you can get. And unfortunately, sometimes that does bring with it some very complicated histories and people that she doesn't necessarily want to experience um, the, the last moments of. Uh, but Blaine De Beers, our other zombie, begins to capitalize and enjoy working out those different experiences that you can and can't have. So that's something to look forward to in the show. Is it going to be clear how she became a zombie and what causes that change, or is that a secret? It is. That's one of the big revelations throughout the show. Um, I know there's still arguments in the writer's room about exactly what amount of utopian consumed, combined with what factors, may have created this outbreak, but uh, we know that once you are a zombie, it's easy to pass it on and then try to refrain from a zombie apocalypse. So that's a big struggle. Is there any hint that uh, Utopian was created by a lab purposely for this or accidental or is it all to be resolved later? We haven't seen yet, actually. Um, that's all in discussions at the moment. You won't know it within the first few episodes, I'll say that. Can you talk about the first few episodes, what we will discover? One of the most exciting things as an actor playing this character is that each time Liv eats a brain, not only does she see the memories of that person, but she also um, inherits some of the characteristics. Um, for example, in the first episode, she eats the brain of a kleptomaniac and um, is stealing things all the time and doesn't know why. She speaks other languages. She speaks Romanian in the first episode. I'm very nervous about where they're going to go with it. They might expect me to be a concert pianist or like a kung fu master or something, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, but it is very exciting. But well, she doesn't retain that for long. How long does she retain the brain still? For as long as the brain sustenance is in her body. So the idea is that um, each week it's working with a different person, a different victim, a different meal. Um, and so each week the, the experiences that she has reflect that person's life. And that changes when that is no longer in her body. And she goes and works in the morgue, right? Yeah. Did you do any sort of medical examiner research? Or if you, I know you're a post star and so you watch lots of things like that. Ravi Chakrabarti has taken care of it all. Raul has done the most amazing research and prep for our morgue and medical elements of the show. I literally was shooting on a, a film called um, Pedals on the Wind, which was like I was playing a 70s ballet dancer until the day before I flew up on a Friday night at 4 in the morning. Uh, I landed and then went straight to work to uh, reproduction at 11 that day. So I didn't get as much time as I would have liked to before the show started to um, to do preparation in terms of things like that. But we had this amazing uh, medical examiner 
come and talk to us and walk anytime we're shooting in the mall. She walks through exactly how things are done. I know how to hold the skills saw when I'm taking the top of the cranium off. Things I never expected. I would be calling my parents to fill them in on on the weekends. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really lucky that we have very informed people around us to help us with that. I've actually played a few fantastical characters. Uh, I, did, I was a Power Ranger. I was um, Tinkerbell in Once Upon a Time. Um, I worked on Xena and Hercules. Will you be coming back to uh, Once Upon a Time while doing this? Or? We're hoping that there's some way in which I can come back. Scheduling is a little bit tricky, but both my storylines on that and on a show called Masters of Sex have been left open, and they're both shows that I really enjoy and hope that my poor manager is stressing about it. But I'm, I'm trying to wrangle it. I keep saying yes to everybody and then leaving her deal with it.